So it's back to back career high in point performances from Karis LeVert plus the game winner tonight. How would you describe what you're getting from him this season? You know, heck of a job. Heck of, heck of a job on both ends of the floor. I, you know, I thought he made, you know, especially at the end, made harder way work for shots. And, and uh, uh, you know, he, uh, you know, he was our leader tonight. And uh, you know, I said after the game, he said, Coach, I owe you one from the Detroit game. So. You know, great game winner. That was a that was a heck of a finish at the end. We talked about rebounding collectively, not just on one guy, but doing it as a team. How would you assess your performance? Huge. Twice? Yeah, I, I thought we did a really good job. You know, they had that one stretch in the fourth quarter where they, they grabbed five or six in a row. Uh, but but uh, you know, besides that, uh, you know, guys were guys were really helping out there. You know, Jared Allen led rebounds. You know, that's that's what we asked of them. Uh, we asked them to improve. I think you know. Gets Detroit at 10, so you know, you know he's going to be in the 10, 11, 12, 13 rebounds, uh, uh, you know, to make a pick, make another uh, step as a defensive player. Kenny, you mentioned that Karras, you mentioned that Karras said that he owed you one, but when you were drawing it up in the huddle, did you have uh, a sense of wanting to give him sort of a second chance to redeem himself after that? Uh, I didn't think that. You know, I, I really, I, what I want, what we wanted, was to get that last shot. Like we didn't want to, you know, run a play and 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 a risk a turnover because we, you know, they're they're a great pressure team. Uh, we wanted to make sure we got the last shot. We didn't want to give them a chance. So, um, you, know, you know, we left them with one second on the clock, which which uh, uh, is okay and preferred, you know, to go to zero. But uh, um, you know, again, I wanted to put it in his hands. Uh, have a great game. What does he do? He's he can really drive the ball. And uh, you know, Detroit, we tried to do the same thing, get him isolated and, and, and you know, drive the ball to the basket. Could you uh, detect Karras's confidence growing as the game was going on? And was that as emotive as you've seen him in a while? Yeah, you know, he's growing, he's uh, maturing. Uh, you, know, I, you know, you just feel it. You, you can feel it during the game. You can. Uh, you know, when a guy starts to make another jump to be to be even a better player, uh, uh, the emotional part is this part of it, the leadership part. Uh, you know, that, that that was huge. Coach, a big game tonight against a, obviously a hometown rival. Um, what does it mean for you to get this victory for the fans with the crowd going back and forth between the two teams? Like yeah, I think Brian said before the game. You know, we we lost. You know, that was tough last year, taking taking four on the chin from them and, and losing four. And you know, none of us liked it. I think those are the things in the summer you you know you think about and, and uh, makes you you know, motivates you to, to, to work a little harder. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's it's uh, you know, for our group. I think it's a I think it's a you know good win, but because of the New York rivalry, you think know, has a little more meaning. Hey, coach, he kind of stole my thunder a little, but I was going to say since the franchise moved to Brooklyn, you know we've always talked about a, a great rivalry. Tonight felt a little bit more than usual, didn't it? Fans were great. Energy was great in the building. Uh, I felt it. You know, felt it walking out there. Felt it during the game. Uh, and it was great. Just the, the the you know ebb and flow of the game, right? The Knicks come back and the Knicks fans go crazy, and then we come back and our fans are great. So to me, like I said pregame, like I I'd, I'd love for both teams to keep improving and, and have these battles, uh, you know, going forward into the future. It's great, it's great for the city. Uh, Great, great for the fans of, of uh, you know, New York basketball. All right, uh, Kenny, over here. Uh, <laughs> oh, geez, Greg, you're out of your normal spot. I I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm a little late. Uh, I think normally when you, if somebody told you you'd out rebound them the way you did, you expect it to be a big win. But those that 22 to three turnover ratio, did that sort of keep the Knicks in it, in your opinion? I, one of those assistants gave us, I don't know how many more shots, we gave a ton more shots because we turned it over, that, that turnover margin, and, you know, we almost had to play, you know, perfect basketball because that turnover margin was so great and they got so many more, more shots than us and, and it's just, listen, it's, it's something we got to address, it's, it's something we got to do better at and, uh, um, you know, we'll look at it, uh, but uh, that's, that's, it's not a good sign for our offense that we're, we're to have that disparity, you know, 22 to 3. Just, just not, not great for us. Okay, thank you. Thanks, everybody.